What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. Once again, we're doing a little intro before the regular on the water intro that I did when I actually filmed this video because I have two important things to address. The first one is Capital Cities Muskies here in Madison are they are doing a tournament, a fall tournament, October 17th. You can register up to the 15th of October and I am going to put all of the particulars for you to find out about that in the description below. Uh, should be a fun time. Uh, the guys in the club are a great bunch of guys. Uh, they've got some cool prizes from Chaos Tackle uh, as well as others I'm sure. So uh, please check that out. Uh, again, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can find out all about that. On to the second thing I wanted to get to, and that is, it's, a, it's on a more somber note. The muskie fishing community is a very small community. It seems like everyone knows everybody else. And unfortunately, uh, just recently, we lost one of our members in Ed Kastriba. Um, I knew Ed uh, from going to the Pennsylvania Musky Max show, uh, probably from, from back in 2015. So I've known Ed for five years. Um, we would shoot messages back and forth on Facebook Messenger and, and you know, I, I tied up some skirts for him and he hooked me up with one of his baits. Maybe that's why you've heard his name. He made the uh, heavyweight, uh, the heavyweight glider. Ed's friend Steve Gould is setting up a huge raffle uh, on his, on the Facebook page, Trophy Time Leaders and Lures, I believe it is. I will, again, put links in the description below so you can check that out. He set up a PayPal account. Um, so I, I'm assuming um, donations can be sent there and I'm assuming all the payment for the, uh, for the raffle can be sent there. Uh, all the proceeds going to Ed's son. Um, so they're, they're doing a fundraiser for, for Ed's son. So again, click on that link, check it out. Ed was a good guy. Uh, it's sad to have lost uh, one of our own in the muskie fishing community here. So hate to hit you with that bummer news in the intro here, but uh, I figured it was more important to get the message out uh, about what uh, they're doing for Ed's son. And I'm sure Ed wouldn't want this to be a bummer. So uh, thank you for listening to that. Check it out if you would. I would appreciate it. And with that, we are going to get into today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. If it's dark out and the light's on on the camera, that means one of two things. Either I forgot to film an intro at the beginning of the day, or... What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, and the reason there's a light on is because I am out insanely early. We've got sunrise happening a little bit here, um, but I had a bunch of fish moving on top waters last night. Could not get any of them to hit. So, um, got up super early and I am out here to see if I can make that happen. Um, yeah, so <laughs> hopefully it doesn't get too loopy in here with the uh, lack of sleep, but um, we've got, uh, we're in Northern Wisconsin. We've got 72 degree waters. I'm on a solo mission today for a couple hours. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try to get these fish to eat top waters. We were targeting some fish that were relating to lily pads. We got a couple of them to hit on scum frogs, uh, but the ones I'm interested on are the ones that are hopefully going to eat uh, some top water baits here, some musky top water. So that's what we're gonna be throwing. Let's get after them. Oh, there we go. Fish on, fish on. Yes. Now let's see if I can net this thing. All right, buddy. There we go. Just a little guy, I think. Just a little guy. Oh, 
<laughs> oh man, that is cool. That is cool. Getting up early works. All right, man, this is a lot bigger job when you're by yourself, but let's see what we can do here. Got, I don't know if he's necessarily all that big, but boy, does that feel good, everybody. Wow, that is cool. That is cool. Come up and just slurp down a big mama little sister and actually got him in the net. One hook right there. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, man, I want to keep fishing here. Let's, let's get this little guy taken care of. Whew, that is cool. That is definitely cool. I don't know how we're gonna do this filming wise, but uh, this is just gonna have to work everybody. That'll work. Okay, start recording there. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. All right, a beautiful little, okay, little, <laughs> a little self-filming here, but uh, look at that guy. Very cool. Let's see if we can go get another one. That was quick, everybody. So cool. All right, thank you so much for hitting my bait there. You okay? Good to go? Tell all your friends how nummy those little sisters are. All right, he's just hanging out. There he goes. There he goes. Yes! Ooh, that feels so good and I almost fell in the water. Okay. That's enough celebration. Let's get another one. Oh, 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 there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, dude. What is that? Shoot. Man. All right, well, at least that's our second contact with the fish. Oh, got one coming, got one coming, got one coming. Come on. What in the world? They just give up. They just give up. Come on. Where'd you go, buddy? Man. Gosh. 
<gasps> oh, he was still there. That was a nice one. That was a nice one, guys. Oh, no. I couldn't, man. I just cannot see these fish in this inky water. I could not see him at all. He just came out of nowhere. Are you kidding me? Oh, that was a good one. Huh. Well, maybe all those other times I kept it moving, I just need to dead stick it on him or something. That was crazy. <sighs> Got my buddy mowing his lawn up there at eight in the morning. That has got to be dewy grass. Okay, uh, enough of that. Let's get back at it here. Oh, oh, we got a weight coming. We got one coming. Come on, just eat it. Oh. Come on. Wasn't a huge one. Man, was he waking hard on it. Oh, <laughs> so close. Oh, man. Wow. They're definitely taking a look at this guy. Need him to just blow up on the dumb thing instead of follow it, though. There we go, there we go, he just came up and ate it. Just came up and sucked it down. Wow, <laughs> what are you? What are you? What are you? You a better one or are you just a frisky one? You're just a frisky one, it looks. Oh, he came off. Oh, that sucks, that sucks. Look like another one of those mid 30 inch fish. Oh man. Well, man, like <laughs> that was a couple minutes after that last one waked. I mean, I, I suppose it could be the same one, but uh, wow. This is a fun morning. This is worth getting up. Oh, here we go, here we go. Just a little guy. Huh. Well, he stuck with it better than most of them do. He wasn't waking hard, but you could see it there right at the end. Huh. Shoot, I thought the way he stuck with it, he might hit it up in that top corner up here. No such luck. 
Well friends, another trip in the North Woods has come to an end it looks like. Um, but, kind of on a high note, uh, we did lose that one fish, uh, but saw a bunch of others. Had really cool topwater action, that's a lot of fun. I just, I love getting those wakes and seeing those fish and uh, put the one on the boat. So, yeah, that's it. Um, but don't despair. After this, we are going to be back up here in September for a couple days, and uh, we'll see if we can't do a little bit better as far as keeping those fish pinned up uh, this time around. Um, but yeah, it was a fun trip. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. I appreciate every single one of you very much, and we'll see you on the next video.